Good evening, collective, and welcome to Star Sea Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge. All right. Thank you so much for joining me at the edge. This is going to be a whatever comes out reading. Okay. It could be your energy. It could be the energy of the person you're dealing with. Okay. Take only what resonates with you. If I mention any signs, try not to hold on too tightly to it because in tarot, gender is fluid. Also, this person could have that sign somewhere in their chart, but it could be something other than their sun sign. It could also be very strong or prominent in their chart. Just take what resonates with you. If it sounds like your story and you want to get a personal reading, you can hit all my information in the description box below. Thank you very much for joining me tonight at The Edge. Let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? We shall. Okay. Mm. Blank space. All right. Mm. I'm thinking of a Taylor Swift song. And I'll write your name. Okay. Someone may be... Uh... <laughs> Drinking a whole lot, okay? Someone may be drinking until they forget something, or they may be drinking to uh, forget something that they did. This could be someone who's gang affiliated, okay? Maybe because they're concerned or worried about some kind of truth getting exposed, all right? Someone who is extremely obsessed with a particular matter or person. No matter how hard I try, I can't let you go, okay? Whoever this person is, they have gang ties, and clearly, they are obsessed, okay? I don't know, Collective, if this is already sounding like your story, you may want to take whatever evidence you have and go get a PO, okay, on this person, because I'm getting this person maybe missing a few screws, okay? You're definitely getting strong karmic energy coming out here. This person may dabble in the arts of spell work. This person does spell work on a masculine energy. I don't know if they're divine. I'll let you be the judge of that. They also do spell work on this masculine's parents and friends. Okay. Okay. I'm also getting not spells. By the way, your shit backfired. <laughs> And I also caught you on camera. It don't matter. I know who sent you. Strong connection to source. You at this time may be very connected to your solar plexus. I believe Scorpio is representative of solar plexus. Someone possibly sent someone in to babysit a situation. Possibly a Scorpio. Possibly an Aquarius. Somebody got paid here with sugar cone coming out. All right. The silver lining of the situation is, though, that you, if you haven't already, may want to take the rest of the evening or the next three days to do a proper cord cutting. Okay. Mm hmm. Absolutely. This person is secretly watching to exploit you. So what happens when the person secretly watching is watched? Damn. Strong blackmail energy. It doesn't matter if this person wore a mask. <clears throat> they don't know how many angles you have set up. <laughs> and that's what she said. Listen for signals. Okay. When their little uh thing runs out of battery, it makes a sound. You need to speak up about what you know. Okay, and you also be you also need to be very mindful to back up or make copies of whatever footage you have if in the event you do decide to turn it into the police because the police could be compromised. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person may be facing a felony charge for what they did. I'm also hearing blackmail energy. Oh, we're gonna get into the uh tarot in just a minute. This could be someone that you work with or previously worked with, with your coworker coming up. This person is extremely jealous and they're hating on you. Now, why would they hate on you? Possibly because you mind your business. Possibly because you're a master manifester. Possibly because you just shit. 
and they just don't want to admit that shit. Their jealousy and hatred is what's blocking their manifestations. They may cry and ask for a pity party. Oh, woe is me. And think it's because of spell work, but it's actually their own energy fucking their shit up. Okay? Because I don't care how much spell work you throw. When you in the right vibration, you could block all that shit and still get your bag, your blessings, whatever it is. What is for you can't no man take from you. I don't care if it's blood. I don't care if it's co-workers. I don't care whoever it is. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot now. Okay. I'm going to try to keep these messages short and get a few up because I got to pivot. All right. Let's see. Let's get a spread on this energy, Holy Spirit, please. Mm. Five of Wands, conflict energy. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. This is someone who feels the need to compete with you. And because you won't rise to the occasion and argue with a fool, hmm, you could be dealing with an Aries. No shade rams, but not all of us are high vibrational. Because you don't want to rise to the occasion of competing with a peasant. <sighs> hey, don't get mad at me. My spirit guy said this is the truth. So if you feel triggered, you know, take that up with the most high. All right. They want to hit below the belt here. You might be minding your business. You might not even be entertaining this person, right? And for whatever reason, they want to take it up a notch. Why? Because they hate to see you winning. Aww. They want to ruffle your feathers, collective. Let's see. Let's clarify with the third card, please, Holy Spirit. Mm, with the angel tarot. They want to try you. Mm. I don't know. You got these coming out. You got the lovers and the three of wands. You know what the sick and twisted part about this is? This person may actually want to date you. This person could be watching you. This person is loving what they see. They get some kind of enjoyment out of this. Because they think by trying to secretly sabotage you or send someone else in who's possibly gang affiliated. That it's going to somehow drive you back into their arms. These people are mentally unstable. Okay. They need to seek help in many seats. Let's go ahead and keep pulling on it. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm. This person isn't satisfied. Four of Cups. Mm. Someone may have also seen this person doing this. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with an air sign, King of Swords. This person isn't isn't happy seeing you get this victory, okay? Mm. This person may come off as inspired by you, but the truth of the matter is this person sees is secretly competing with you. Pathetic. Yeah. Whatever this conflict is that they started. The truth is going to come out and somebody is going to get justice in this situation. Remember, and no shade to air signs, more specifically Geminis. But Geminis can't hold water, whether you're karmic or not. They love to gossip. So they may actually not even be on board with whatever this person is doing. I guess it's a co-worker or somebody. Okay. This person may actually tell on this person, okay, that did this. Eight of Swords in this particular deck is truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. Bring me the heads of the traitors and I'll tell you what loyalty is or I'll show you what loyalty is. Yeah, this person is going to take the opportunity to have someone else take the fall for them. Mm-hmm. Because they know if they don't speak up about what they know, which is the card that we got. Well, they may go down with this person that was their accomplice, okay? This person is realizing now that you don't even be messing with this person, let alone thinking about this person. But this person still wants to go out of their way to mess with you, right? So this third party person, okay, 
I don't know them from Adam, so I won't necessarily call them a karmic. I don't know, whatever your story resonates with. Whoever this air sign is, is seeing this person do all this, and they're just kind of like, you know, well, I could see why you hate on her, because she's better, or he's better than you. And this may be brought up to this person, or they may not say anything to this person directly, but they're going to realize very quickly that this person is like, got a couple of screws loose okay they may actually be the one that betrays this person and tells on them about what they're doing to you in secret mm -hmm. the truth of the, of the matter is whoever this person is they're emotional or they're about to be because there's going to be a lot of judgment this person could also be facing a lot of judgment as we speak for the things that they have done behind closed doors. All for the sake of competition. Now, if this is somebody that you work with, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think anything should resort to messing with people's property or breaking into people's vehicles or houses or even doing the most of throwing spell work at it, okay? Like I said, not magic may be significant. Now, what they didn't realize, collective, for some of you, mm, oh, it gets better, is that they wasn't the only ones being sneaky. For some of you, you wised up like myself and decided to install some surveillance. <laughs> Not just on the vehicle, but on the porch, as well as the windows, the doors, spy grade. So now, their sneaky behavior has been documented. Until next time.